Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to look at why some production possibility frontiers, that's PPFs, are curved. Now the video will concentrate on this PPF here, which represents an economy that can only make guns or butter. Now the line of the PPF, just to review quickly, shows us the maximum level of production of guns and butter that are possible given our resources and the state of our technology. And so at any point along this curve, we're utilizing all of our resources. Now in this video, I'm assuming we're only producing on the line and our curve is bowed outwards. It goes from flat to steep as we increase the number of guns that we produce. Now, at the heart of the reason for this curvature is that this model assumes that our economy has lots of different types of resources, some of which are more suited to making guns than others. So to explore this, let's think about the sorts of things that we need to make guns and butter. Well, to make guns, we need, well, metal, machinery, munitions experts. And to make butter, we need things like cows, farmland, farmers. And what I hope is clear is that the resources that we use to make butter, well, they're much better suited to making butter than to making guns. So cows and farmers are not great at making guns. And the resources that we use to make guns, well, they're much better at making guns than making butter. So if we got a munitions experts to make butter, well, they might struggle plausibly. So now let's go to our PPF and I'm going to consider the vertical axis intercept. That's the point I've labeled A. At this point, we're fully specializing in the production of butter and we're making zero guns. But this point A, well, that's on the PPF line. So we know that all of our resources in our economy are being used, including those resources that are much better at making guns. So the metal, the munitions experts, they're all producing butter. Now, from this point of specialization, we're going to move to start making some guns. We move along the line, maybe to a point like B, and B is associated with making 20 guns. So we're going to redirect some of the resources that were making butter towards making guns. So we will lose some butter, but when we make those first guns, we're going to use those resources in our economy that are best at making guns first. So the best metal, the best munitions experts, etc. And as we said before, these resources are not so great at making butter. And this means when we take those resources away from making butter, we don't lose too much butter. So just to put some numbers on it, maybe we go from 200 to 198 butter. So we lose two butter. So by using those resources that are most suited to making guns first, we don't lose too much butter. As we increase the production of our guns, we move along the PPF to the right. The resources in our economy that are really excellent at making guns, well, they get used up. So we have to start using resources that are not so good at making guns. And perhaps these resources are not too bad at making butter. And so when we use these resources up, the rate at which we lose butter increases because it's harder for them to make more guns. So we need more of them, more of those those resources and it's easier to lose butter because they're not so bad at making butter. Moving from C to D for instance we're again increasing guns by 20 so from 100 to 120 but we lose 10 butter from 170 to 160 instead of 2 butter that we lost from A to B. And we will lose butter at an increasing rate as the PPF gets steeper. Now, as I detail in another video, I'll link to it below, the slope of the PPF is equal to the opportunity cost of producing the horizontal axis good, in this case, guns. So that the slope is increasing, well, this means that the opportunity cost of making guns increases as we make more guns. And I've been a bit rough in this video so far when I've been talking about different resources being more or less suited to the production of certain goods. And this is because I'm just trying to push an intuition here. The more precise concept that we need here is opportunity cost. Opportunity cost is equal to the next best foregone alternative use of our resource. And in this context, it's equal to, well, how much butter we give up when we make some guns. So our munitions experts and our metal and our machinery, 
those sorts of resources in our economy have a low opportunity cost of making guns, cows and farmers will have a high opportunity cost of making guns. Now, the reason why the opportunity cost increases, I hinted at it before, is because as we increase the production of guns, we use those resources with the lower opportunity cost first. Eventually, we will run out of those resources. So we have to start utilizing our other resources in our economy, which have a higher opportunity cost. So from E to F, for instance, we're increasing guns by 20 from 160 to 180, but we have to decrease butter by 40 in order to get those extra 20 guns from 120 to 80. So maybe at this point, we're having to get farmers and cows and farmland. All of those resources are being put towards making guns, but they're pretty bad at making guns and they're pretty good at making butter. So the opportunity cost of making guns at this point is pretty high. And the opportunity cost will continue to increase until we reach full specialization, that's at point G, where all of our resources are being used to make guns. And so the curved PPF really is explained if we assume that the resources that we use to make our goods, well, they're different from one another and they're more or less suited to producing the goods that we can produce. And by suited, I just mean having a lower opportunity cost. If we use those resources that are best at i.e. they have the lower opportunity cost in making our products before we use those resources that are less suited to the production of, i.e. they have the higher opportunity cost of production. All right, so that's it. I hope that it helped. If it did, please like and subscribe. Hope you guys are keeping safe and happy.